God. And Freud would have had a field day. Where have you been? I was meeting about a prospective job. With your father's enemy? Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. I keep an eye on things, Siobhan. I keep an eye. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I had a meeting. You do whatever the hell you like on everything, forever. Why don't we uh, chat this over in the morning? And he has to hear it from his so-called friends on the phone, dripping poison in his ear. Jesus. Kenny. What up, motherfuckers? Sorry I'm late. What are we arguing about? What's wrong with him? Oh, where do we start? Ah, I'm off my nut, folks. Off my fucking oh my nut. Like all the papers said, your dreams have come true. Congratulations. Uh, hey, just so you know, I think things are good with the launch. I talked to the guy. He doesn't I'm care, not. Rome. He doesn't even fucking notice. Dad, give him, give him a high five. Come on, he's waiting. Dad? You do that to me. Evers, a long Senate member who wants to fuck me ragged. On the same side as those animals that hit me with a bag of piss. It's my work, Dad. You work? Have people don't understand that. Work? There. It's rebellion. Sabotage. Oh, yeah, of course, because it's all about you. Yeah, not that I might be in agreement with his points about the purchases, or just maybe his whole philosophy. Philosophy? This is nothing but a, a miserable, deliberate attempt to undermine my whole business strategy. <laughs> You don't have a business strategy, Dad. Your whole business model is, uh, is based on seducing presidents. You're a really high-class hooker. No offense. Hey. Fuck off. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, my hands are at it. You know, it's been a long day. It's been really nice getting to know you all a bit better. Night. Night. I've got to say, I feel a little bit used uh, today, Pa. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not you, too. Where we are and all that's happened, and then even tonight you have to go off and work? I made some calls. Jesus, can't you wait? Can I wait for you to finish a few calls? Yeah, I think so. I think so, Pa. I've had a bit of practice. Connor. Quite a bit. Connor, your father has been busy dealing with these two traitors. Disagreeing with Dad is not treason. Mm, but trying to make one of his biggest enemies president is kind of a fuck you. Oh, hey, Dad. Dad, I like those stories you planted about me. That was... <laughs> yeah. You forced my hand. There it is. Yes. And he's fucking lucky, that was all. What you kids do not understand, it's all part of the game. Oh, it's all part of the game. Come on, everybody. It's a rootin' tootin' super fucking fun game for all the family. Step right up. You run towards politics to prove that you're your own man. Fine. But that's not principle. You're scared to compete. You're marrying a man fathoms beneath you because you don't want to risk being betrayed. You're a fucking coward. Wow. Wow, you are just beyond. You know, I was born lucky. I'm a lucky person. I realize that. And you're so fucking jealous aren't you? You're so fucking jealous of what you've given your own kids. You can't handle it. You can't, you, you, you can't work it out. If I'd spoken to my uncle like that... What? Hmm? What would evil Uncle Noah do? Calling your daughter a coward till she cries? Come on. Big man. Logan. 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 Come on. Come on. Logan! You are a fucking nobody. Fucking nobody.